to the Prime Show episode 14 on YouTube channel. I'm Corbanj Man, host and founder on the Prime Show for five years. Um, there's so much crisis going on in tension of last two weeks. I think what I did see uh, Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, the royal family disowned them. It was on CBS Sunday with Oprah Winfrey inviting for an interview for that special prime time this 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 Pacific and 6 p.m. Pacific what I have seen this is a Archie, baby, skin tone. Uh oh, it's going to get turning worse for the royal family. Oh, what a. Meghan Markle concerns her baby, Archie, of color, skin tone. It's going to turn something even worse for the royal family. And I was shocked and stunned. For that truth revealed is a big trigger coming. And I fell off my hands with my pen, pen or pencil. Maybe while I was writing down in a cute car and I was stunned and shocked. <sighs> and my God, royal family disowned Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for treating a racism? My God. And I hope in Canada, USA, Mexico, in North America and the worldwide are watching this a worldwide television has revealed the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex why they done done to the royal family. I mean bring up the racism, oh boy. I think um, the Duke and the Duchess of Cambridge, Camilla and all the past throw shady things to Duke and the Duchess of Sussex for this, this blatant races in out of control. I mean, man, that is look like the advice of the Black Lives Matter of George Floyd by it is the white supremacy. It is true. Yeah. That take 
Sick Andy Mob, former president, brought up this. It is the truth. The police and threatening to hang Mike Pence, vice president, that is a danger of threat. It is, it is feel like this is the truth of white supremacy. They don't give a damn the Black Lives Matter or any of black community they support for Obama era in the past decade. I support for Obama. He's a good, he's a good U.S. president. And now he's a dem democracy. He sets everything every step of the way to build a population in the USA of America. He did. Bring up the World War II. Now here in country, in USA. They did. They did it. The borders, politics, taxes, everything for Obama era. And that is a that is a legend right there. That is Obama, Barack Obama legend. He's a hero to save the USA in the past in the past two thousands decade. That they invented for the first African and American ever to be a 44th president of the United States of America before that sick former president took in 2016. So it is a white supremacist. Is a problem with the social issue of white supremacy. And everyone can fans in my show and all around in YouTube can agree with me. And it's gotta be stopped. Right now, yesterday, what was happening by the Asian community is hurting so evenly bad with hateful violence of act. God, act of violence, it needs to end this. Yesterday on March, where you say March 7, March, yesterday March 17, or I think it's uh, Monday, Mon Monday March 16, which is going on Mon Thursday March 18, uh, I can see on my phone. Uh, eight people died. There's a man with with the suspect has a gun. Uh, it is a white supremacist. This is absolutely out of control. Come on, give me a break. Jeez, why we can't? Just move on to 2021 for a good way to repair this, this damage. It needs to be gone with that sickness, ultra sickening of white supremacy. Thanks to that former president, that sick mob. And this man with a gun. I mean, this is. Man. Okay. Think I had enough for that. With that disgusting by uh, a people. What you seen it is disturbing and disgusting. I mean, come on, give me a break. Move along. This is a problem with the white supremacy. It needs to be end this culture. God. Enough of this 2020. We're not going back to 2020 disgusting here. Don't continue this 2021. Get the hell out of here, man. Jeez. 
I'm sick and tired over and over and over, God. Why can't we be normal to survive, God? To survive to repair this a better way to clean up the damage for what former president has done for four years. Bringing criticism, lies, and everything. Now he's gone. Finally, Joe Biden can save America by slowly, by step, by step, by step, every step away until it gets completed process into a positive way soon. When this, when he hits 100 days as at his Oval Office in United States of America, Washington, D.C. And also, good luck with that, reaching 100 million doses. That will be a great milestone for Joe Biden and to the Biden campaign. I can, I can agree to accept this history in US in USA to reach our milestone 100 doses and 100 days both together make history unlike former president doesn't give a damn to do it leaves nothing do nothing oh yeah do nothing for former president what he is not to tend, not to tend to do it. Uh, okay. I've had my say on the news update. Now let's get on to the sports update. Okay. Um, the sports update. Uh, let's see on my iPhone right now. What do we have for a sports update? You know, the, the COVID-19 uh, Fred Van Vliet test positive by the Toronto Raptors team. Yeah, Fred Van Vliet got test positive by COVID-19. So he is out on the game and he will be quarantined for 14 days or if so, he'll be back soon in the lineup. So sorry Van Vliet. Now the second one is the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, in spring training in Florida, they're doing okay, but they posted for the roster moves so they can get set for the opening day, beginning a regular season. So let's hope for Toronto. For my prediction, last chance to make it postseason again and go for well to the World Series and never fail and never eliminate it or this franchise is done. I mean, the Toronto Blue Jays franchise is done or else someone else is going to get fired. Ross Atkins needs to go. That is Ross Atkins, his last chance or he is done. Make it happen in road to October to the postseason. Last chance. And that's it. It's over. You've been eliminated. It's done. All right. Um, let's see how time goes. In the spring training, when it's all over in March, by April, the regular Major League Baseball begins. It's going to be a 62, not 162 games. It's going to be less 62 games thanks to Rob Manfred, the commissioner of MLB. Oh, God almighty. This COVID, COVID pandemic. Yeah, I understand. So they want to put 25% capacity. They want to see stadiums open with less people. Don't wait too many. It's going to be higher risk than it's going to be a big disaster and unacceptable. 
25 capacity with less people is fair enough. No way anymore of 50 or 75. It's going to be really over time. Bad. Jeez. Now the MOV sales are finally open with 25% capacity for the regular season, including the opening day. So, Bob, Bob, don't screw it up. You did the right point, don't screw it up. Because now we're in a pandemic and it's not over yet until it's summer when it's all gone. I mean Canada. So many cases is is here. The third wave of COVID nineteen, I think, is here. Andrew is right. The COVID nineteen of third wave, the level three is here. And everyone else needs to wear two masks because some disease is going to come really, really strong, and they need to survive. So wear two masks, everybody, to keep away from the virus even stronger and deadly, dead, deadlier, more poisonous, God. So bundle two masks up. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop for a break, and after the break, why right <laughs> after break, come after break, uh, yeah, I, you're saying after break, we'll be right back. Uh, anyways, um, thank you guys for watching the first half, and we'll see you on the second half. After the break, yes, yes. Welcome back everybody to the Prime Show with Kawaii Jumei on YouTube and now with the entertainment update um, glad you to join the break entertainment update is the Grammy Awards um, I didn't watch the full show so um, I did see the winners and there's feels nothing it just wins and loss from hate this into our attention because of the lack of invitation I get it and it feels the same this ceremony goes, goes on and on and on and also I have no doubt I to travel with Owen he is very good standard he chose to be a host for the Grammy Awards Trevor Noah, very funny and smart. No problem, no problem for Trevor Noah. Absolutely, absolutely great standard for Trevor Noah. So, uh, Beyonce wins in history of Grammy Awards, this recording academy win a what did Beyonce win? Let's see, is he won? Mm, uh, hmm, for the oh, for the ex, uh, that's a great speech for Beyonce. That's a great speech for Beyonce adding to the history you know, the Korean Academy. I think is acceptance award for Beyonce for the for the cooperation. Yeah, I think it is for Beyonce for 
for that special for Beyonce knows who won so many albums in every show awards in the past decades. So right back yet, Beyonce. And oh boy. Very upsetting for BTS. For Korea out there. Oh boy. That's sad. That is deeply depressing sad for BT BTS fans and BTS lot with BTS loss of they defeat by by the win by by the winners. And it sucks. Oh boy. A big disappointment for BTS. The fans of fans are depressing. Because it, racism is not comedy like BTS. This is not the same with racism and white supremacy. Mm -mm. This is the Grammys. It's killing itself. The old tradition war happened. The old war, no Grammy Awards. In every single year, tradition to tradition, God. Now you want to make a change? This new era of recording Gary, this Grammy Award. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I had a good breakfast, so that was. My breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, sorry for that noise. Um, I think that is it. The gravity was was the same feeling. Nothing fresh, nothing new. Nothing exciting with a knockout punch. Nothing. It feels boring. And saying, okay, I want you to go see the movies in USA, but now in Canada, the setbacks are closed because of the pandemic. We're in the gray zone of lockdown. I hope Doug Ford, by a couple of weeks, get to the red zone. This Mississauga mayor is pissed off. Patrick Brown, the mayor of the city of Brampton, I think he's pissed off. <sighs> Justin Trudeau uh, is, is, it is very hard to see consequences if we can go move to red zone when there are more coronavirus cases is going on. So, we opening the non-essential businesses is only for some, for some, for many non-essential businesses can be open, including the malls, except for the theaters are still closed. Hope goes to Red Zone and bring theaters back up in Southwest Canada. In USA, the AMC theater has reopened. Everything has settled down. Everyone took the vaccine and the COVID-19 vaccine in America with thousands, with millions of doses. And I hope to God they're gonna bring 25% capacity. Same with the Emory Stadium, now with the theater. Everybody must be safe. Social distancing, six feet apart, or you're about to enter the movie. Go see the new movies. This week is. Let me see what movie. What movie is going to come? 
if I can go to AMC Theater website, what movie is the new upcoming? Is oh, it's going to begin on 19 Friday this week, Friday in March 19. This recording Thursday before tomorrow, which is absolutely great for the people for a comeback to the AMC theater. Waiting for so long because the pandemic needs to go away and starting back to normal very soon in summer when this is all over. Okay, now with mask and safe distance in the AMC theater, see the movies. To find these, what, what was uh, the movie upcoming? What was the movie upcoming this week? <sighs> yeah, the Jack, the Zack, Zack Snyder's cut is on HBO Mask and in theaters. Right now, this week, Friday. Yes, the Jack Snyder's cut, Justice League. They gotta fix it right. I mean, it makes more sense with that rather than old one. The Justice League is total BS and, and failure. Now with Zack Snyder's cut, director is on streaming on HBO Max. And in theaters tomorrow on Friday, it is rated on right now for Justin Lee, Zack Snyder's cut. See it and leave the comments down below. Finally, I nail it. Finally, I found it. Zack Snyder's Justin Lee for DCEU. D is my uh, DC DC universe say like that okay uh, I think that's the end of today's update well I'm gonna go to bed and get some rest for another day and that next Saturday show will be Saturday prime time again. That way we're gonna we're gonna bring one commercial and new topics on the show next week. Thank you guys for watching on episode 14, this March 19 Saturday show, 2021, on the Prime Show with Kobayash Man. Follow me us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, News 130 channel, and the Prime Show underscore. Make sure to stay tuned for new videos on YouTube channel in Los Angeles, California. Jen Rebecca is next. Have a great weekend. And this is Aspen, the Prime Show with Command Fans. Oh,